Uh, at Shalom Wam. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakha Kudash, uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS, and uh, to the elect who work in sincerity and the truth, Shalom Wam. Uh, my name is Nazar Khad, just as GMS Precepts. Real quick, I want to go into this article here. Uh, this devil, look at this devil. The devil's actually speaking some truth here. Mr. Harry Kissinger, okay, or one of the devils, or one of many devils, uh, actually speaking some truth here. It says, uh, this is a quote, and this is an article I'll put it in the description. Um, it says, in 1969, Harry Kissinger describes the Igbo as wandering Jews of West Africa in a memo to President Nixon. The wandering Jews, now in the scriptures, um, does not it describe the Jews in uh in the in the latter time as wandering Jews is is that not a prophecy or or or, or the dispersed Jews or the dispersed Israelites okay wandering Jews man the dysphoria the dispersed the scattered okay he's speaking about the Jews the uh, um the the uh, he's speaking about the 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 prophecy concerning Israelites as being scattered man why are we scattered? We are scattered because we fled uh, the the Roman persecution uh, of 70 A.D., man, the, the besieged of Jerusalem, all right, which started around, I believe it was 68 or 69 um, by uh, Roman general Titus, and it continued with his brother Domitian, okay, Titus and Domitian fled we fled the roman persecution we not only went west to africa and certain parts of africa we went north we went south we 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 we, we uh east okay the scattered which are what that's all part of prophecy matter of fact let me get that in deuteronomy 28 okay deuteronomy 28 and what is it 63 no 50 54, where is it? Scattered. Here it is, 64, I'm sorry. Um, it says, this is Deuteronomy 20 and 64, and the, Lord sh and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord shall scatter, deter, scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And thou shalt, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. <clears throat> so this is describing what the scattered, or the, where is the article, or the wandering, okay, wander, wander, or wandering and scatter are synonymous. It means the same thing pretty much. So these are the wandering Jews that. Uh, Henry Kissinger is describing man. Let me just read this uh, part right here. It says in um in um in a in a White House memo dated Tuesday, January twenty eighth, nineteen sixty nine, to President Nixon, former Secretary of State Harry Kissinger describes the Igbos as the wandering Jews of West Africa. <coughs> uh, uh, gifted, aggressive, westernized, and best envied and resented but mostly despised by their neighbors in the Federation, okay? Envied, resented, mostly despised by their neighbors, by their neighbors, okay? This is, once again, that's um that's a prof that's prophetic, man. You see, what people don't realize is all these curses, they don't, they don't just apply to Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that dwell in, 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 uh, in, in America or in North America. They apply to Israelites no matter where you are. Okay, you can't escape the the curses. The curses will pursue you. Matter of fact, I believe that's. Uh, let me get that. Curses will pursue you. Okay. Let me see if I can get that. And um, here it is. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight and forty five. Moreover, all these curses, all these curses shall come upon thee. This is a prophecy concerning you, Israelites, man. All these curses shall come upon thee. It does. It, does, it doesn't say all these curses shall come upon thee if you dwell in North America, okay? Or if you dwell in the Northern Land. It says they shall. Uh, they sh all these curses shall come upon thee, 
and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. Okay, no matter where you are, these curses are, uh, see, why? Because that's going to be a sign to tell us who the Israelites are based on these curses, man. They shall overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Okay? Alright? That's a sign, man. And this devil knew it. These devils know it. Wandering Jews. This ain't gonna be a long video. Right? But that that's, that's pretty much the point, man. Okay? Also, this article said something. It says, uh, uh, Kissinger's description aptly portrays the Christian Igbos and their experience in Nigeria. Over the years, the Igbo have been the victims of numerous massacres, okay, that they have lost count. Most of the violence directed against the Igbos have been state-sponsored, meaning it's been by their own neighbors. Is, is that not a, 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 a prophecy as well? Um... Let me get that. They, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, even from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue they, they shall not understand. And, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until the high fence walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all the land, and he shall besiege thee in all the land, and all the gates throughout all the land which the Lord that power hath given thee. So this just doesn't apply to here in America. That applies to wherever the Israelites dwelt. You will be uh, uh, pursued. You will be overtaken. Okay, by another nation. This is why the the uh, this is why they've faced persecution ever since they've been over there in that land. Why? Because the natives know, or the Hamites know, they're different. Okay, that's why Harry Kissinger he described them as he describes as he's described the Igbos as wandering Jews of West Africa, gifted, aggressive, westernized, and best envied and resented, but mostly despised by their neighbors. He's he's showing you a separation. He's showing you there's a difference between the Igbos and and the rest of the and the and the surrounding uh, so-called Africans around there. <clears throat> And even the surrounding Africans or natives around that area know that they're different. That's why they've been persecuting them. You see, it said in state in state sponsored terrorism. Once one one can say that Igbos knew how to spell state sponsored terrorism before the rest of the world did, meaning they've been facing that for so long, right? The state sponsored terrorism directed against the Igbo in 1966 led to the declaration of the Republic of Bafa by Afra. By the Igbos, subsequent civil war, and da 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 da. da. Okay, but the the points made already. Uh, the Igbo have been victims of numerous massacres. Why have they been victims by numerous massacres? Because the neighboring so-called Africans or Hamites knew who they really are. They know they're different. They know they're what? The wandering Jews. The only people that don't know are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You think that every, every black person is your brother. And that's not the case, man. Everybody that's dark-skinned is not your brother, man. Hell, the 85% uh, of the world has dark skin, has a form of pigment. Why don't you call... They've got dark skin. E, e, uh, e, e, Elam is dark skin. You got uh, Elam that look dark, that's black as hell, man. Okay? Now, you know, when I say black, I'm just... I just mean very dark skin. Okay. All right. Every everything black's not don't mean it's uh, your brother or sister, right? So that's pretty much it. I made the point. You know, Harry Kissinger, this devil here, as well as these other nations, know the truth. They know that the Igbo tribe and 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 Israelites dwell within their own land. I Israel dwells. Um. Matter of fact, I just read it. Deuteronomy 28 and 60. Let me read that again. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. We are scattered, man. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all la, 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 people. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Meaning, 
Our people are scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth, and no matter where we dwell, we are going to be persecuted, we are going to be hunted, we are going to be killed, we are going to be despised by all the all these nations. Okay? All right, so that's that's pretty much the point. Lord willing, you brothers are edified. I'm going to leave this, this article here in the description. Uh, until the next time, shalom.